interceptions facing Colin Kaepernick. This was 2014 Thanksgiving. First pick, uh, pass intended for Brandon Lloyd. Then Sherman had it the whole way. The next coming in the fourth, he cuts off Steve Johnson. And this, among those moments San Francisco hopes to have on their side. Number two, December 13th, 2012. Seattle's Red Bryant blocks the field goal. And guess who's there, Lewis Riddick? Sherman scoops it up, takes it back. Of course back. he is. Of course he is. That's what they're looking for, but this time in their own uniform. Up oh, there's That's Richard big, Sherman. Big Red Bryant right there getting a, a mid on it. 2013 NFC Championship game, 49ers down just to score. I, I don't recall this play, weirdly. Yeah, I what know. I don't know, but this is why we're showing it. So you, you have something remember. to say afterwards? I, you know, I he's a quiet have, guy. You so jogged my memory like that. Now I, I remember it. I don't know. But listen, you're about, I have something to say, and it's this. Uh, don't forget, it's overreaction Monday. 49ers are more likely to make the playoffs than our Sherman's former team, the Seattle Seahawks, Lewis Riddick. Oh, oh man, you know what? This, one, this, on one, this, this one. one is tough. You know, I'm, it's an overreaction. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I know it's an overreaction. I get, you know, and I'll, and I'll and I'll say why. I'll say this why. Look, there, there's a there's a championship culture I believe that still exists in Seattle. I think Seattle has been preparing for this transition. I think you, if you look at some of their draft history, you knew in the secondary in particular they were starting. To, they were preparing for this. They were preparing for Richard to be gone. They were preparing for Cam to be gone, for Earl to be gone. They were preparing for this. Now. Look, the 49ers have got it going on. I think this is a team that is a super fast riser. I just think from talking to Pete Carroll at the Combine, I really do believe that he foresaw that there were some changes that were needed. I think it's going to infuse that football team with a certain sense of purpose and a certain, like, um, there's a certain excitement going forward that I think will still propel them to the playoffs. And I think as long as they have Russell Wilson, they're always going to be in it. Yeah, you know, we both came away feeling yeah. like there was a plan, had been a plan, and that this was part of it. This didn't sneak up on Seattle. But nevertheless, is this an overreaction? I don't think so. I don't think it's an overreaction. And part of it is because I think we all believe that Seattle's going to have a retooling year, not a rebuilding year. Well, you can't have be a rebuilding team when you've got Russell Wilson mm -hmm. at quarterback, but they've certainly got some holes they've got to fill. San Francisco, though, is on such a rapid trajectory. Mm -hmm. A couple areas that stand out. They've got to find players that are sudden change players on defense, consistently generate pressure against opposing quarterbacks, turn the football over in the secondary, force fumbles at the second level. Some question marks at linebacker with Reuben Foster's Let's, let's call it what it is, uncertain status right now, surrounding some of his legal issues. But I do think San Francisco's on the rise this year. To me, San Francisco reminds me of the trendy restaurant that just opened that's hot. Everybody wants to get there and get in the reservations. <laughs> in the Bay Area, no less. And, There's plenty of those. And the Seahawks are the place that is the oldest restaurant in San Francisco, the, the Tadish Grill, the oldest place there, the longest standing fish house. I still think the 49ers, I want to go to the trendy restaurant right now, and I think that's the team that I would bet on this season more than the old long-standing restaurant. That's the place to get into. I think I they're on the rise. I thought you were going in a different direction So, so did I. I mean, yeah, you set me up. You go, oh, I but I want to go to the trendy restaurant. Well, you know I'm, I'm a cool guy. Restaurant. I want to go to the no, cool restaurant. No, I'm not that cool. Stuff. Okay, well. When in doubt. Listen. When in doubt, please the first try time it. The pizza I, think, I think we do have to say, though, look, there's Love a the lot analogy. of buzz surrounding San Francisco, and that's oh, cool. Yeah, yeah that it is, is cool, cool. and so, it's good for, for the certain. league and good for John, yeah. good for John Lynch. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's good. you said it about Harvard, but a Stanford guy making, making good. You know, yeah. who, who knew? Who thought of it? Listen, how about this? You mentioned earlier a pair of veteran running backs visiting yeah. Detroit. So I'm going to ask you about Murray is, is, <laughs> is coming in tonight to visit with the Lions. Jonathan Stewart is there today. Busy with the Lions, and I don't think it's any accident that less than two days before the start of the new league year that the Lions already are meeting and talking with two players, two veteran running backs who have produced for a long period of time, who have more 1,000-yard seasons than the Lions have had in a long time. The Lions haven't had a running back rush for 100 yards since I think Field was born. That's right. And oh, it has been a streak that the close. Lions are intent upon ending this year. Maybe one of these two running backs, maybe both these running backs can help them do that. Reggie Bush on Thanksgiving 2013. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were. He was, he was a baby. I was at prom. You know. I was at prom. You were, <laughs> listen, we just, we're just jealous. How about this for overreaction Monday? Lions will have a thousand yard rusher in what year are we going? 2018. I'm on, Wendy. Yeah, there we go. I'm with it. Oh, is that an overreaction? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. And I'll, and I'll tell you what, and, that, and I don't think necessarily that's a bad thing. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to connect the dots here as far as Matt Patricia is concerned. Where does he come from? He comes from New England. What is their, what is their mantra up there? We're not trying to get stats. We're trying to win games. That means if we have to throw the ball 40, 50 times a game, we'll do that. If we have to run it, we'll do that. I just think they're, they're about collectively moving the football and getting it in the end zone. Not, we just got to get a thousand yard rusher this year because we haven't had one. So I, I don't, I just wonder, I, I wonder if that would be their philosophy. Like we have to make sure we have one K runner. 
just have a better offense. All right, Prom King. Yeah, I think I think it's not an overreaction only because I think there's an implicit understanding and an incumbent understanding about just how desperate their need is to get a power back that whether it's in the draft, whether it's in free agency, that might be a nice sweet spot at the 20th pick. One of those running backs not named Saquon Barkley could be an ideal place. And we talked about the control. depth in that in that class after Saquon Barkley. There'll be some teams who get some value even in the second and, and third yes. round. I think we like to bet on what we've seen in past years. We talked about the Patriots winning the division 10 straight years, eight Super Bowls in 16 years. We haven't seen the Lions have a 1,000-yard rusher since Field was in high school. So yes. at that point in time, so I'm going to say it's, it. an over, it's, it, it's not an overreaction <laughs> to say that the Lions will have a 1,000-yard no, rusher of course they will. this we go, season. We go all the way back until, until proven otherwise, yes? Correct. And we have not... Stand by what we've seen. Stand by what we've seen. Uh, we've seen Tom Brady play pretty well. That I do know. He opens up about Tom versus time and that infamous hand injury in the playoffs. Stick around to hear what he has to say. Ow.